this is secure here love in the city i hope this video finds everyone well safe and protected whether you're watching this in the afternoon or in the evening i hope everyone is well i am doing okay me and my family thank god so let's just jump right into this video and while i'm here i am going to be doing a diy on my makeup brushes i was looking through makeup brushes uh, that I wanted to uh, get because I changed mine out. <clears throat> I won't say frequent, but frequent enough, you know. Uh, I don't like to keep using the same brushes, even though I clean them. I like to switch up sometimes, so I did. And um, these brushes I purchased from Amazon. And the name on it says BS-Mall, M-A-L-L. -L. They weren't terribly expensive, so I like the way they look and the way they were made. So, and they're really soft. They're not too soft and they're not too firm. I wanted something that was pretty much in between. And I was able to get that with these. Uh, these come in an 18 count and I bought two sets. So I got like, what, 36? Cause, uh, you know, sometimes I don't get to wash the brush right away. Or I may be doing multiple things and um, I don't want to have to stop and uh, clean the brush. And this here is, um, and as you can see, I'm from jumping the gun. As you can see, I've already started one. And this uh, instrument I have here is a hot air gun. I purchased this off Amazon. It's really loud, so um, I'm going to start one for you and then I'm just going to finish the brushes and then I'm going to come back and share the results because you won't be able to hear me very well with me speaking and trying to use this hot air gun it's just really noisy okay and here I have a pair of scissors my little stork scissors you actually get two in this set I don't know the name right off, but I'll make sure I put them in the description bar a box below just in case, <coughs> excuse me, there's someone who would like to purchase these. You get a smaller set as well, <coughs> excuse me. And here I have some bling. This is self-adhesive. You can actually sew this down if you want to sew it to something. Uh, adhere it with glue some type of glue even though it is a little tacky on there for you but there's nothing to peel off I'm just gonna tell you now it's nothing to peel off so you have to use one of these which is like a hot air gun I've already gone ahead and pre-cut some strips <coughs> excuse me and I might have to cut again because that's kind of small and then I also have one that's a little smaller I would still have to cut it so um, I don't know I may use the small piece from here on here just so I don't have to cut a big strip up the middle who knows I don't know how I'm gonna do it but it'll get done um, in case you're wondering this is three yards and it has like little diamond stones inside of it you can use any type of stone that you want to use I like this because it seems like it caught the light I don't even know if this camera is showing you well but it is really really high blinking here you go yeah uh, my goal is to, uh, I don't know if I have enough wrap here, I may have to order some more, but I, my goal is to do the entire brush all the way down. But for now, I'm just going to focus on doing the top of the brushes just to see how much I have left, you know, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to buy more bling adhesive. And, uh... It's a little like it's tacky right here along the top. So like if I'm pressing it right there and it's I'm not even using a hot glue gun. 
and you got to stretch this out so I'm, I'm going to have to cut some of that because I didn't stretch it out before I just wrapped it around but uh, look it's already kind of tacky and I haven't even put the hot glue I mean not the hot glue the hot air gun on it and uh, these are the packets I initially ordered which were two of these and I realized I don't think I'm going to have enough because I ordered a second uh, second order of brushes. Um, this is two, this is a one yard. So I got two yards and all with the two of them. It came in a set. So two came in a set. So there's two yards. And this one here is three yards. So I probably have to order maybe two, two more three yards together. So I can bling out the entire brush, makeup brushes, so it can look very luxe is what I'm going for. So without further ado, so this video lasts extra, extra long. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do this, okay? So I'm going to start from where I ended it, which was here. I'm going to hold that down. It's much as I possibly can. Let's see, go back. Okay, I'm gonna hold that down. Put it as flush, close as I possibly can up to the second one. And as you can see, I got like that much left over. So I'm gonna use my scissors here. And I'm gonna cut just a little bit at a time I guess just in case I have to um, try to secure it some more and it's easy to cut let's see okay and hopefully I didn't cut too much but once the heat hit it I'll be able to stretch it out so I think it's just fine so let me go ahead and get this one side going and I tell you it's hot and it's loud I might have to wear some gloves because that is so hot on my finger yeah I'm probably gonna wear a glove that sucker is hot I'm just gonna go ahead and heat like just for good measure just heat the inside a little bit and wrap it so it can become tacky hopefully you can hear me Woohoo! that is hot on the fingers let me tell you see it stretched out even more when I put that heat on it so I'll still be cutting so what I'll probably do the next time I get ready to cut a strip is when I'm, you know, trying to wrap it to see how much I need to cut. I'm probably just going to stretch it out as I go so I don't lose so much. Okay. Let's try this again. Ooh, that's hot. And you just give it a good hold. Hold it for a few seconds to make sure it sticks. Let's see if I can get it a little closer for you. See that bling on there? <gasps> Beautiful. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is bridal, bridal trim self-adhesive but I'll make sure I put the name I don't have any links but I definitely have the name of this product and then I'm gonna heat it one more time just for good measure and 
just going to twirl it around. Just in case you need to readjust, which is pushing it up closer. Ooh, it's hot, baby. Yeah, I think I'm going to use a glove. Um, what do you call one? It's just a... Uh, what you use for your heart, your, your um, wand curler. See, the heat made that slide. Oh, goodness. Hopefully it'll be okay. If not, I have some. I probably better use it. I have some um, E6000 glue. The, all the heat, it'll probably just stay because what the heat did was just, well, I guess, loosen it up when I went on it. But now I know to watch out for that. And there you go. So I'll come back and I'll show you guys the end results. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I am back and here are all the brushes. I have everything completed. I decided not to do the entire brush. I did three rows each on, on each brush with the exception of um, these two spoolies that I have here. I did rows of two. I did two up here and then two at the bottom and left the space open. I like the sheen that's it has like a metallic like sheen to it here and so I thought it just complemented the diamonds really well um, the diamond adhesive I chose is clear I do believe they have the iridescent and they, I know they have the rose gold but I got the clear because I wanted it to just shine like diamonds I wanted it to look very luxe was the look I was going for and you don't have to choose this type of diamond this is like it looks like crushed diamonds if that helps and let's see if I can zoom in without it blurring and hopefully that light is catching that bling because it's blinging for the gods yes <laughs> and the brushes they look like a little like a light champagne color so it's not like a real big difference in the diamond in the color of the brush so that worked well for me and I have 36 brushes in all they came in like a set of one for like 18 uh, 18 counts so I was like oh, you know sometimes I'm in a rush I didn't wash my brushes and then I can grab the next set that I know that's clean and work with that um, let's see if there's anything else. Oh, uh, yeah, I did order. <laughs> I did order an extra three yards. This is three yards. They had it in two yards and three yards. I think you can buy it in one yard. But um, this is uh, it says 0.79 inch is what this is, and this is crystal rhinestone, and this is clear. But I'll make sure I put uh, the name on that. Um, that I got this from the seller on Amazon. I don't have any links, sorry. But yeah, let's see if I can take it out so you can see what that looks like. Just lying there at a different angle. And let's just see, that's a big one. So let me just pan down so you can see. Yeah, how that looks from a different angle. And that hot glue gun is something to work with, let me tell you. Because it was really hot and you got to hold it and you have to work really fast with that. So, yeah. It all worked out and it turned out really nice. And uh, even if I don't use the other, uh, if for some reason one becomes loose and, you know, I can reattach it, put a new uh, adhesive on and get it to affix to the brush again so yeah I have backup or I may decide to do it for another project who knows okay guys I'm going to end this video here thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys like what I did with these brushes yay 
thanks for watching don't forget the thumbs up and hello to all my new subscribers and all my day ones hope you guys are staying safe and um, i'll talk to you soon bye <music>